If you're like me, you've got a lot of X10 devices laying around, and I've had these since the late 90s, um, and it's the first home automation, and they're still pretty reliable. Um, X10 Commander is a product from a company called Mellowware, and X10 Commander will allow you to get your X10 devices and control them from the internet using your Apple or Android device. It's made up of two parts, this X10 Commander Windows Service Server part, it's basically waiting for commands to come in and works with a device like your X10 device up there. I've got highlighted the uh, the CM19A which sends out basically um, a signal over your power lines in your house to your devices to tell which ones to turn on and off. The other part is the Android part or the iOS part and this is in the Android Play Store here from Google. It's about a $5 product. Very, very much worth $5. Um, as the price of home automation is going way up, and I'm going to show you how to make all this work with Alexa today. So um, the X10 Commander um, app will talk to the X10 Commander um, part on your Windows machine, and uh, will turn your devices on and off. And so you want to get that from Mellowware. If if you want to get this to where it works with Alexa, then you want to make sure that you get a um, a free product called HA Bridge. It's basically a Philips Hue emulator bridge. And so it's software that you can get from GitHub. It's hosted out there from this uh, company or organization, put it out there, BWS Systems. And you need, um, you basically need Java Development Kit uh, version um, as, as a minimum requirement. You need the minimum of Java Development Kit 1.8. So make sure you've got that installed. Uh, just need that installed in the background, and you'll need to run that from an executable. Um, so once you have that installed, you can then grab the jar. It's called a jar file, and you'll need to execute that from a command line. And you can grab that out here in the releases area. And right there's the latest version, this jar file. So you need to be an administrator. Uh, so you can right-click on the command line, and you can launch that. And if you don't know how to do that, there's plenty of how-tos if you Google that, just how to launch uh, a Java file. In this case, you want to launch this one. So there's a um, there's a port that's a standard default port. It's port 80. In my case, port 80 was already used, so I had to reassign that. That was the only hiccup I had. But if you don't have port 80 used, you should be in good shape. So once this is running, um, in the background then it's basically running a web server too and this web server then you can get to it through this interface uh, by putting in localhost and then the port your port would probably be 80 here if it were available and what you want to do is then just put that in your browser minus the hashtag here and it'll go to the HA bridge homepage and Here's where you want to configure your X10 devices, and, and I'll show you how to make them work with Alexa too, because this is how it's going to work with Alexa uh, Echo from Amazon. What you want to do is you want to fill out these fields here based on the variables that you've got already in your X10 commander. In this case, I've got four things configured. I want to configure some other things now that I've got this smoothed out and working, but uh, you'll see that I can put these in here and, and I can name them accordingly. I've already got mine put in and so here's the examples I'm going to show you. And the examples for basement here, inside the lights, outside the lights, and patio. My basement one here, just that variable right there, you can leave that as the default. That is the default. That is the default. All these were already in there. Now, own URL. You want it to look like this. Your local machine IP address and then the rest of that format there. And uh, I'll try to put the format down in the uh, YouTube video area to where you can copy and paste that, but that's the format you want to use to turn the device on. You see this A1 device here? That's what you switch out for your A1 device. Uh, if it were A2, you'd put A2 in there, and then you see the own variable at the end of that right there, uh, ON. And this one's the same exact thing, except down at the end, it's off. So you've got off down there at the end. Uh, so you change that, but it needs to be in this format here. You want to change this to get that right there and then th this down here where it says content body and stuff that does not have to be filled out those are not required fields um, as I figured out later but then you just update them one at a time and once they're in there then you go over to this bridge control area and um, you have Alexa 
basically can discover these devices because this is broadcasting that's available out there uh, as a Philips Hue emulator, uh, the HA bridge. And I had to refresh the bridge settings a couple times to get the um, the Amazon Echo Alexa to, uh, to to basically recognize them. But once she did, she recognized all four out there. So I did have to reinitialize a couple times while I was telling her to, you know, look for devices, look for devices, and she found them all. So then you can just simply make a command and turn these on and off um, through the, I'm testing them here, um, but by clicking on these buttons and you can test them too to make sure you've got the syntax right and everything in there. But then what happens is this is going to send the commands over to X10 Commander to turn things on and off in your house based on X10 with no additional investment except for that $5 or $10 or whatever to uh, the X10 Commander Mellowware people. So I'm just going to give you a quick example of this. Um, turn basement on. And so she turned my basement lights on just now. Um, so it's really cool. And turn basement off. And she turned them off. So it's really cool that basically for no additional investment, I just got all my X10 stuff working with Amazon Echo voice controlled and can turn all these things on and off uh, at a whim and impress all my friends. So, uh, that's what I know about this. I think I might be one of the first people to get this working with X10 Commander. If you've got any questions, just put them here at the end of the uh, of the YouTube video, and I'll be glad to try to help you answer any of those.